So this question starts off with what looks like is a system of equations. But when you look a little bit closer, it's something that at least right needs to be simplified, right? We have like terms, 3x and 5x here, 3y and 5y. So let's start off with simplifying this, and then we'll go on to read what the question actually says. So I have 3x plus b equals 5x minus 7. I can simplify that by subtracting 5x from both sides here, and I'd be left with negative 2x plus b equals negative 7. For the second equation, I start off with 3y plus c equals 5y minus 7. I can subtract 5y from both sides here, and I'm left with negative 2y plus c equals negative 7. So there's a simplified versions of, um, of these two equations. Then the question goes on to say, in the equations above, b and c are constants, so that's good to know. If b is c minus 1 half, so let's just write that down, b equals c minus 1 half, which of the following is true? Well, this is kind of an odd bit of information to be given. So I'm going to use it right away. It tells me that b equals c minus 1 half. So I'm going to just replace this b right here with c minus 1 half. So I have negative 2x plus c minus 1 half equals negative 7. Um, when I simplify that, I can add 1 half to both sides here. So I'd have negative 2x plus c equals negative 6 and a half, which I'll just write as negative 6.5. Actually, looking at the answer choices, I see that they all have fractions. So I'll just keep it at negative 6 and a half. Okay. Um, if b is c minus 1 half, which of the following is true? Well, all of the answers have to do with x and y. This equation only has x and c. This equation has y and c. So what they have in common is this c term. So if I can simplify for c here by saying c equals, right, if I add 2x to both sides here, I'd have c equals 2x minus six and a half. I can then take that C value and plug it in here. And what I would get from that is then negative two Y instead of plus C, it becomes plus two X minus six and a half equals negative seven. And that accomplished getting me to a point where I have a single equation with both X and Y, no C, because you know my answer choice has kind of proved to me that I want to get x and y, a relationship between x and y. So they all, the answer choices also show me that I want to isolate x because each answer choice says x is, right? And, and is means equals, right? So is it means equal. So in essence, this question is asking me to solve for x. So if I'm going to solve for x, I need to get everything here away from the x. I'm going to add six and a half to both sides to get started. So I'd have negative two y plus two x equals, well, negative seven plus six and a half is gonna be negative one half. And then I'm gonna add two y to both sides. So that gets rid of the two y on this side. So I have two x equals two y minus one half. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So I'm left with x equals 2y over 2. Well, that's just y. 1 half divided by 2. Well, that's just 1 fourth. So y minus a fourth. So x equals y minus 1 fourth. And the answer that fits that looks like it's going to be answer choice A. x is y minus 1 fourth.